Hi there, I'm James. I'm hoping some of you know who I am. I've been around this business for a while. I'm excited today to tell you that my new album, Sunny Jim, on Borealis Records, is currently sitting at number two on the Canadian Songwriter Charts and number 24 all across North America. It's sort of given a renewed interest in what I have to offer, and that's what I want to talk to you about today because I'd like to come and play at your venue. And here's why I think uh, I might be able to offer something that works for you. I think I've learned how to romance an audience. By the end of the night, we've usually got a real thing going. Sometimes it's hard to say goodbye. We promise to stay in touch, and sometimes we do. Next time I come through. Uh, this romance comes from years of learning how to read a crowd and respond to their needs and desires. And if they've come to listen, and by the way, I don't even bother with a venue now that that isn't the starting point for our relationship. I think I owe them something if they have come. One of the things that keeps me out on the road, and it's not the food, trust me, is when folks will say after a show that it felt like I was singing just to them and about them. I know I've done my job when that happens. I'll do tear jerkers, shit kickers, rib ticklers, head scratchers, thought provokers, wrist slitters, knee slappers, toe tappers, heartbreakers, and humdingers all in one night. I'm not very trendy, I suppose, or hip, or young. My name isn't Jason, or Jeremy, or Justin, or any of those names that the current guitar slingers of the day have. And I'm sure not one of those bands with three gals decked out in cowboy boots and flowery dresses. I'm a song worker, plain and simple. I've written about 1,500 of the little darlings by now. It's an obsession. If I may toot my own horn a bit, and I do play the horn sometimes in a show, some of these songs have actually done me proud. They get sung around campfires and by choirs and often other artists who take them on around the world make them their own. One of them, Frobisher Bay, was named Favorite Canadian Folk Song in a CBC poll. That was pretty cool. And another, uh, Mining for Gold, was recorded by the Cowboy Junkies on their famous Trinity Sessions album. That one's really got me around a little bit. Uh, it's been used in films and even TV commercials. Yeah, okay, I won't do that again, but I was broke, honestly. I toured with my old band Tamarack for 20 years all across the world. Our mission was to be a voice for the Canadian identity, to carry those stories forward with songs about the hard-working people who made this country great. Mission accomplished to a large degree, I think. We played everywhere, and we were inclined towards the back roads, which is kind of a habit in touring that stuck with me. I was the luckiest guy around for about 12 years when I was songwriter in residence with CBC Radio. Uh, first with Arthur Black's show, I had a new song on the radio every week and folks got to know me for that. And with a regional show called Ontario Morning, I did a weekly feature called Hometown Tunes where people would write in their stories about cool stuff in their hometown. I'd write a song about it and put it on the radio every week. So basically, if you live in Ontario, I've got a song about you. For about 20 years, I've also been touring with my songwriting in the school program called Rhyme Capsules, kind of generating a whole generation of new performers, and that's been pretty fun too. Uh, I also, for the last two years, toured with my own one-man, one-puppet musical called Stephen Harper, The Musical. It worked. You're welcome. Kind of kept me out of the... Uh, songwriter scene for a little while though, so I'm keen to get back at it. I think I've made about 40 albums now, either by myself or with Tamarack. Uh, and this recent one, as I mentioned, is getting a lot of attention, so I want to help celebrate that by touring it a bit more. Now, the music business is a little tougher than it used to be. People are siloing themselves. They're not going out as much. They're not buying CDs as much. Songwriters don't get the media attention that they once did. Revenue is way down and expenses are way up. It doesn't really make any sense anymore to be out on the road economically. It's in my blood though, I guess, and I continue to do it because I'm still feeling very rewarded by the response I get, by the connection that I make with audiences who seem to feel that there's something of value in what I'm offering. And here's where you come in. If you'd like to host a concert for me, I'll give you a good show. And between me and my record label, Borealis, will help promote it. 
to be honest, I think I prefer the smaller halls. Uh, the intimacy of those venues seems to suit what I'm performing these days. I'm pretty confident that I can make it worth your while and I think that we can probably work out something fair for the artist and for the promoter. Because of this new album, there is a renewed interest in my music, so I hope to be traveling through your way soon. Uh, I've got tours lined up on the West Coast in the fall, East Coast, and United States in the winter. Working on those now. I'd love to hear from you. would love to include you in my touring plans. Thanks for listening.